So ladies and gentlemen, we're hot on modding right now. Thank you so much for joining me again. Today, I want to go back and modify this particular watch, the GW M5610R. This is a really groovy watch. Uh, it doesn't have the inverted display, so uh, it's a positive display. Tough Solar Multiband 6 and has Bluetooth. So let's go in and have a look at the watch and show you the modification that I want to make. To it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the watch, the GW M5610R, and it's already been modded before. Uh, when I got this watch, it was full resin. Um, the only problem was the actual resin band was starting to snap along the edge here, so it was a good opportunity to try out a mod. I like this watch because of the colors, right? Let me see if we can get close there, but you've got those positive displays, you've got the blacks, you've got that tinge of orange, um, a little bit of purple as well around the edge. But it's a very nice watch as far as I'm concerned. But the thing which I'm not really impressed with is the mod I did, this this band, this NATO strap, I think it is, NATO, NATO. Um, it's just too long. And I have to sort of really fold it back on itself when I wear this. And I was thinking maybe I can take this and make it a full metal as well. So I did the order on AliExpress. It's the second one I've actually done here. And this is the order for. I always get a bit scary because sometimes these things stick. This is the kit I'm going to modify with. So what it is, is a camo titanium band. The last one I did, this one here. Stainless steel, a lot heavier, but this is all uh, all titanium. So we have the G-Shock branding, the protection on there. We've got G-Shock on the band as well. So we should be able to take this and uh, modify this up nicely. I think when we take this and put it on top, uh, we might get some uh, really interesting stylings that we can utilize. I mean, let's just take this out and have a look at this watch. And yeah, I mean, we can actually see there's a G-Shock at the top. It's kind of a bit tough because of the camouflage and sort of the digital stuff in there, but it's there, uh, the G-Shock and protection. I guess that's the way it's meant to go ahead and actually have a look. And so the idea would be we would take that and that would go on top and see how that looks. So something a little bit different. We'll lose obviously some of the orange on the bracelet uh, but and again the orange on the resin there but we still get a little bit of a tinge coming through and perhaps if I get really artistic I might be able to fill in with the uh, the words there so uh, so let's see let's go give this a mod and make this happen okay so let's first start off with the original watch and get this back to its module again so this should be fairly simple we'll just pull this out from here, pull this out from here, strap is out. Now I remember trying to do this first time, I had some challenges getting this on and potentially threading the screw. So let's see if we can actually do this properly this time around. So we've got, this is a flat head and this will be our, this will be our screwdriver. So. Okay, Whew. man oh man, that was challenging to say the least.
Okay. Whew. Band off. Haven't wrecked the original. Let's not do that. But these ones we can get rid of. Let's make sure we keep all of our screws and pins. And what we have is our awesome module. So let's just put that to one side. Band we keep. And then what we should see is that sort of look, which actually looks pretty cool. Okay, but before we lock that in, Let's make sure we know how our band's going to be. So, okay. Knife work done. Let's just push everything to the side so we know what we need here. So, got the module, got the bracelet, got the case. Now, Trick is, as always, making sure the bracelet is the right size. So that's going to sit somewhere like that. We can see the bracelet's definitely way, way, way too long. So what we need to do is remove some bracelets. So the trick is to take this end here and we're going to push out some of the springs we start towards the end here so we'll take out this one push in give it a little bit of a twist come at it on the other side as well and i hate that they go flying off i have to go and see if i can find it Okay, found it. Bit tricky, that one. Let's make sure. All right, so we've got that. Then uh, let's turn the light off above. Okay. Let's take off. I feel like I'd want to do more than two, but let's, okay, you know what? Let's do two. We'll do two, and then if we need to make another variance, we will. you up push push okay let's have a look hopefully now we're not too small okay I think we can make that work so now all pieces aside. Now it's time to be able to attach
Okay. I think we're in. Let's just try that. Okay. That looks okay for size. We locked in. We locked in. All right. Now give this a quick t-shirt buff. And then protection and G-Shock goes on top. And now we want to screw that in. We've got our little screws here, our metal screws. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Final test. That's pretty cool. Protection, G-Shock, camo, bracelet. Okay, second mod in the day. Uh, this one will probably go up a little bit later. We won't publish both today, but there we have it. The modified GWM. 5610R as a camouflage bracelet. This is actually a really nice mod. I was a bit cautious of the screws, but now it's on titanium, still a little bit loose. Probably could do with a little bit more uh, tightness, but I'd be worried about going too tight. If I took off one more bracelet, perhaps it might be okay. But that's the, uh, that's the watch. So a GW M5610 in a camo bracelet from AliExpress. Very cool. Thanks for watching.